Hey what is up guys Dhruval here with another video and before we start I would like to mention that we just hit 5000 subscribers on YouTube yes 5 freaking thousand and without you guys obviously it wouldn't have been possible so thank you very much guys for your love and support keep learning keep watching and I will keep bringing really awesome Photoshop tutorials so again thank you very much guys for that and about this tutorial so this is going to be a 2d text effect tutorial which you can follow in almost any Photoshop version and it is gonna be really cool so let's get started so as you guys can see this is the final output and it is really dark and glowing and the font I have used is actually Amputa Bengis and if you want to use that font you will have to download it and the download link is in description it's totally free so don't worry about it so obviously first of all we need to create a new document and you can go to file and create any new document so the width is 2000 pixels and the height is 770 now it's my personal choice you can use any numbers you want so hit ok and now I'm gonna unlock the background so first of all you have to type down the text and I'm gonna use black color for it and now type so obviously we're gonna type style and that looks good to me now uh, if you want to make it smaller or bigger uh, bigger uh, <laughs> bigger okay you can make it bigger or smaller by pressing ctrl T and uh, you can hold shift key uh, while uh, making it big so you do not uh, misscale it something like this uh, which doesn't look very professional so hold down shift key whenever you're scaling anything in Photoshop so I'm gonna make it uh, a little big something like this so that looks neat and if you want to uh, create distance between the letters just double click on your thumbnail here on this T icon then click in between the letter then hold your alt key uh, and then use the arrow keys to make it uh, wider or narrow uh, it's totally up to you so I'm just gonna bring the L a little far so that looks really perfect to me now we need to change the font color so obviously we have to copy it from here so this is the font you know you can see here so don't worry about it let's just shut off the mask and this is the font color we are going to use uh, it's B let's just copy it from here if you want it's B81 CB3 so let's go back here uh, double click on it go here and paste this number so that looks great now we need to make another copy of this one so just du uh, duplicate it and let's go back and check out the another color you can you don't have to follow this uh, color uh, if you don't like it or if you have some different in, uh, idea in your mind try experimenting with uh, different colors so that can also help you to create something different than me uh, even better so it's the sexy 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 <laughs> okay uh, so hit ok and now um, bring this font a little this way you can use your arrow key so that looks ok and also we need to make the background black so I'm just my foreground color is black and I'm just gonna press alter backspace so my background color is black and now let's go back and uh, see the colors for the third one so it's the bluish color let's go here and copy the numbers so uh, you can see the numbers on the screen uh, I will zoom it in the editing so let's make another duplicate you can press ctrl J if you are wondering to duplicate the layer and then let's go here and make this one a little blue so let's paste the number it's 054185 hit ok uh, now we need to uh, put it even a little inside this way so that looks great let's see if we have if we have been able to manage the distance so it is little too much so I'm just gonna select this one and I'm gonna make it little here so we don't have too much space in between and let's select this blue one and I'm, I'm using my arrow key to uh, move this text uh, with mouse it is really difficult to uh, change anything so that looks perfect now we need to make group of this all three text layers so I'm gonna hold on my control key and select all of these layers and then I will press control G so it will put it into the group and let's rename it to the don't know maybe main text that works for me so that is great now we need to apply a layer mask on this one and now I'm gonna select my brush make sure opacity is 100% and really really be careful that hardness is 0% otherwise it will totally ruin your final effect so that uh, looks fine to me 0% 
and I'm gonna make my brush a little bigger and now all you have to do is click a little away from the main text do not directly paint like this that won't work really nice and now start painting something like this uh, all you have to do is make it seem like the text is fading into the background so I'm just gonna make it uh, something like this a little bit from here actually we can see in the original text what type of masking we have so as you can see I have erased this bottom area to make it seem like that it fades really nice into the background so I'm just gonna erase it something like this and that looks great and also erase something a little bit from here if it's too much you just have to paint with white color as you can see I'm using X key to flip my colors so now I'm just gonna paint back the area I need and I'm just gonna paint a little here so we can see that how much we need to paint again let's go back and see so a little bit on the top too so I'm just gonna paint a little little here and maybe a bit on the top of the L so you have to be a little careful and take your time if it doesn't look really nice so uh, that looks perfect to me and also a little in this E so that looks great now it is not looking really nice right now but we are gonna create a floor for the text so it seems that this text is standing somewhere so uh, create a blank layer and name it I don't know maybe floor if that works for you so make sure you have selected white color as your foreground color and your brush tool is selected opacity is 100% right click make sure hardness is 0% now make your brush really large uh, something like this and make a dot in the bottom of your file something like something like this not in center not somewhere else exactly here in the middle now the fun part is all you have to do is press ctrl T right click and flip vertical hit enter I know and this here your floor is ready now I'm gonna press ctrl T and stretch it even more so we can show that it's really big floor something like that so see now it works really well with that masking on text we did now obviously it is ridiculously large and bright we don't need it that much so first of all reduce the opacity a little okay that is working really nice now usually I apply a layer mask but I think an eraser will be fine too so right click make sure it's 0% hard and then start painting on this area a little bit here and then a bit here and then I'm gonna make it a bit bigger like that and might stretch it a little and then let's put it back here yeah, that looks great now again select your eraser see this takes multiple tries and efforts to create now I'm just gonna reduce the opacity even more until it seems like a normal floor so that looks really great now this one uh, see I have created it it's really small so you can make it even smaller like that so let's make it even smaller that works really nice for me Sometimes Photoshop does this that this is 0% hard but uh, I don't know why it is giving me really rough edges so it can happen with you too so don't worry about it maybe restart your Photoshop or something I don't know um, and now instead of black color let's copy the color that I actually used in my file so I'm just gonna copy this color from here and uh, if you want to know the color is 0D 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 and I'm just gonna fill that color in the background so that's a bit of not pure black uh, black ish color I would say uh, now let's create the another part the floor is ready and as you can see here this is the final output sorry so this is our text here now we have to create a little fog around our text so it seems like there is some smoke or fog ish area I don't know so uh, create a new blank layer uh, and make sure that your foreground color is bit of a gray and your background color is white now select make sure you selected a blank layer now go to filter uh, then render and select clouds and it will create this really fun clouds now we need to get rid of some of those gray areas but we need some of them so go to select uh, and color range now select any of this grayish part and my fuzziness is around maybe 150 hit ok now delete it and press ctrl D to remove the selection now as you can see this doesn't look really nice but you can go to filter blur and then go to Gaussian blur and then uh, apply a lot of blur I'm using 77 and hit ok now apply a layer mask on this one uh, make sure you have black color and remove the sum of the part here with black color so it look uh, so it looks a bit more better and that looks great 
you can again select your main layer make sure you have selected your main layer and go to filter blur and Gaussian blur again a little and that's great I'm gonna remove a bit from this top part here select your mask and remove a bit from here maybe paint a little back so that looks okay to me and now reduce the opacity a little so that looks nice this little dot okay now press ctrl J again to duplicate this one and this time fill in totally like black color in your mask so everything is hidden and now paint with the white color in some area where you think you need that bit of a haze so that looks great and little there and now reduce the, reduce the opacity a little more so that looks nice now uh, we need to create uh, let's see uh, this sparkling areas so for that uh, you have to do is create a new blank layer let me first of all group this two so you can press ctrl G and let's name it fog or smoke even I'm not sure about it now this blank layer uh, select a brush make sure you have you can press D for the default colors and then flip it so my color is pure white uh, nothing else and now all you have to do is uh, make a little dot here on this L now press ctrl T and make it bigger hold your alt key and then make it big something like this and then squish it uh, like this uh, maybe a little smaller that's way too much and hit enter uh, now I'm gonna move it a little here using my move tool and change the blending mode to overlay does not look very effective but uh, make two copies of it press ctrl J and one more time press ctrl J and there uh, there is your really sparkling or maybe shiny surface now I'm gonna select all of these layers uh, that contain this uh, shine so, and I'm gonna group it and I'm gonna name it shine so let's name it a little shine you will know why so that's the shine and now I'm gonna start duplicating this group so you can just press ctrl J to duplicate the group so duplicate it press ctrl T and rotate it something like this holding your shift key would be really helpful and then hit enter so that looks really nice and now uh, let's see where we have uh, those really shiny areas so one two three four five uh, we have one on Y one on T and one on S so <laughs> so first press ctrl J and let's move it here press ctrl T hold your shift key this is a bit of a repetitive work so it can be slightly boring but just keep doing it because if the final output looks good everything is worth it so keep working and now I'm gonna make duplicate of this one and then I will put it here so little little changes make really nice big change so I'm just gonna press ctrl T and rotate it here and then I'm gonna press enter so that looks really great we are done with the shine part now uh, I'm gonna select all these little shine layers and then I'm gonna group them too so press ctrl G so we got a group within a group something like inception huh <laughs> so let's say shine inception <laughs> that looks really unprofessional <laughs> but I gotta do it so uh, now let's create this fun uh, glowing pink area or strokes I don't know what do you call that so first of all uh, here we have our pink layer here it is the pink one now uh, duplicate this one press ctrl J and put it in top of everything so that is great now we got shine that by mistake in this group so we gotta put it even outside here so here it is now uh, all you have to do is uh, right click and make sure you rasterize this layer so we can apply filters on this so go to filter blur and select motion blur and apply a decent amount of motion blur so that looks great uh, maybe 500 around okay that's perfect and then hit ok now this is way too much so apply a layer mask select your brush and then make it big obviously right click hardness 0% and then paint in some of this area with black color so we can hide some of that effect from here and a little bit from here I don't know maybe a little from here and that looks great uh, maybe a bit, bit from here take your time do it properly 
and now change the I don't know let's see does have we changed no all we have done is change the opacity to maybe 50 percent so that looks great you can paint it make it big or do it again if it's not good try doing try just keep trying okay now this really shiny balls you can see here one two three four now this is the same way we created those little shiny areas so create a new blank layer uh, and this time make a circle something like this now press ctrl t and make it stretch it something like that squish it a little make it slightly smaller and then rotate it hit enter uh, let's move it properly here and then change the blending mode to overlay just same as the last time make two copies of it until it looks really shiny select all of them press ctrl g let's name it uh, big shine so that's really really helpful and now make duplicates of this and let's see where we have so one two three and four so we have one more here so that looks great you can make it bigger smaller something like this stretch it a little so until it satisfies you now I'm gonna make duplicate of this one put it here again make duplicate of this one and put it here something like that let's see what we have okay here uh, so and now select all of this and make group of them so again so let's name it big shine inception <laughs> because we have group within groups so that is great now you can just turn down opacity of the whole group so it looks a bit natural so we are almost done uh, this looks a little complicated, but if you understand it, it can allow you to create really really many fun effect And I forgot to remove like turn down the opacity of this fog layer So turn it down a little so it looks slightly natural and now the final step that will make it look really really great and uh, If you have done all of this step properly, then this gradient layer is going to work otherwise it will not so let's go back and uh, create another gradient map so here we have gradient map and in the gradient map you have this default blue red and yellow gradient so select that we just need uh, three colors we are gonna change it so instead of this blue one select here and then in the colors i'm gonna use code 6d00b2 so this is more like purple color and hit ok now instead of this red one i'm gonna use code 931C0C so it is more like dull orange and instead of this yellow color I'm gonna use code E26000 and hit OK so a little brighter orange it looks terrible right now but once you change the blending mode to the hard light or maybe color dodge color dodge is better color dodge it's worth it and it looks really really great uh, it gives that uh, orangish fill into the smoke and the floor and it gives that a really nice purple feeling in the text too you can also increase the opacity of this uh, style layer that we created to make it seem even more powerful you can decrease the opacity of gradient so let's put it on the top first now it's really great so make sure your gradient map is on the top now let's decrease the opacity of that where is it so let's say pink shiny thingy so that is really great and now turn down opacity little so this way you can create you can turn down the fog if you think that the blue color is way too much so that is really great so as you can see the final effect is totally ready and if something is really really bright just go here and decrease the opacity to make it seem natural so that is great so i hope you guys learned something and if you did hit that like button and if you have any kind of questions feel free to ask me in the comments you can also subscribe to my channel for the future updates also check out this awesome tutorial slide tutorials junction till then goodbye take care and have some fun with photoshop